There's once again excitement about Bitcoin. Bitcoin, for those of you who don't know, is an electronic currency that has been the object of speculation on and off for the last 10 years or so. Everybody Big knows. price run up and then collapse and now a new price run up. And Bitcoin is underpinned by a technology called the blockchain, which a lot of people think has implications way beyond Bitcoin itself. But <coughs> first, I just want to open it up to anyone who wants to comment on Bitcoin. I want to come in on the technology side that underpins it, because I think blockchain distributed ledgers uh, is potentially transformational. There's lots of experimentation going on. I think 17 might be the year that some of the experiments start, start to work. But I want to link it back to the trust discussion, because what I've really learned about this technology, without getting into the technology, is blockchain and distributed <coughs> ledgers distributes trust amongst a group of people who have to work together who don't necessarily trust each other. So the financial system, what distributed ledgers does, is a group of participants have to then collectively agree a standard of how they federate that, that trust. And the financial industry hasn't, in history, been particularly good at collaboration. Um, it tends to be lots of groups of people sort of collaborating, sort of competing, and this actually offers a way of changing how that operates and how that works. It also does something very interesting around utilities. And there's a lot of questions around, well, you do utilities need to exist in a world where you've got distributed ledgers. Does my clearinghouse um, go away? I think they exist, but they change. Their role actually changes from one of, we don't have to centralize ledgers and infrastructure and be the source of that central trust. We can now federate that around the participants, be it payments, be it securities clearing, be it transactions. Uh, in a different way. And I think that is really exciting because part of the technology aside, it, it changes how the participation of the industry has to function for this to work. And as was said, you know, no one player can solve the whole financial industry on their own. They actually have to work together. And if there's one thing I've found, particularly here, is the amount of discussion around collaboration and partnership is at an all-time high, underpinned by, I think, some of this technology. And that's really interesting. David, you have one quick last word. Final. Prediction, I think everyone's going to get serious about fintech and where they're investing um, in the coming years. I think, if I'm bold, the end of centralized infrastructures, trust is distributed um, across that. And I think the most precious thing in a few years we'll all be looking after is not our credit card, but our digital identity. <laughs>